Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. I'm Cheryl and today I'm going to talk to you about sensitive skin. I'm sure that that many of you have gone through periods where maybe you've over exfoliated or you've used something on your skin that it didn't agree with and your skin got sore and itchy or stingy or burning and uh, it's not fun. And in my case, um, I am one of those people, and again, I'm sure there are those of you out there like me that just have sensitive, reactive skin. It doesn't really matter what I put on it. I can use the same thing every day, and then one day, it just starts burning. Um, and that's what happened recently. After going through a very, um, really good period with my skin, I, it was really looking well and I was using a very simple routine, um, something started happening inside. I developed a, a, a strong acid uh, reflux, heartburn. It was quite uncontrollable. It's finally under control now, but um, it, it you know, flowed out into my skin. I had some um, sort of sores that developed, but uh, on my face, it just felt like I had a bad sunburn all the time. And my face would, um, you know, like I could just be brushing my teeth or, you know, just standing around and I'd look in a mirror and suddenly my cheeks would flush red for no reason and get very sore um, to the touch. And then it would go away. So uh, I started cutting bad products. I started, you know, trying things, that, you know, that would that I thought would help soothe uh, things like honey, which um, wasn't too bad, but it was something that I didn't want to use every day because um, if I use one thing every day, my skin would react to it. For example, marula oil, which is like my all-time favorite soothing oil for when my skin is messed up. I was able to use it three days and then it just started burning just like anything else. So I kept cutting back and cutting back and cutting back and finally I got to using just one thing uh, every day and where is it? Of course I forgot to bring in the one thing that I wanted to talk about but I have it now and the one thing that I used was a very gentle cleanser and it's the one that I've used for years. It's the aloe vera cleanser from DaVita. Uh, the cleansing agent in here, aside from uh, it's got aloe vera, I think that's the first ingredient, but the cleansing agent is soap wart and apparently I was able to use this morning and in the evening and it didn't bother my skin at all. In fact, um, it really kind of soothed and calmed my skin down. But the thing is, is that I couldn't put anything else on it. So I would cleanse my skin in the morning and then did nothing. <laughs> and uh, it, at night, if I wore makeup, and if I wore makeup, it was mineral makeup and only like if I had to film, basically, or if I really, really had to. Uh, otherwise, I didn't wear makeup at all. But if I did have on makeup, I would take it off with um, uh, almond oil take off the eye makeup and then steam that off with a washcloth and then final follow it up with this as my second cleanse and then go to bed so basically i wasn't putting any kind of moisturizers no serums no nothing and i did this for about a week and guess what my skin is not dry i learned that my skin is not oily that my skin is actually normal I never felt any kind of tightness or dryness. In fact, my skin felt really, really good. If I had to go outside and I couldn't get away with a hat, then I would throw on the uh, Solar Protective Moisturizer from Davina. And all of these products are geared for sensitive skin. Uh, this one, again, is aloe-based, and I can just tell you it's only got a few ingredients in it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, t um, micronized zinc oxide, so it's non-nano, is the active ingredient. And then it's aloe and water and, um, you know, vitamin E. Grapeseed extract is the, uh, the preservative. So it's very gentle. Uh, it does have some moisturizing properties in it from the aloe. But really, um, I probably only used this the week that I was doing this whole thing. Probably only used this two, maybe three times. 
So I was talking to a friend, uh, Marie from And the Color Green. Hi, Marie. And uh, she had mentioned that she was doing something uh, called skin fasting and basically was only using two products, a soap to cleanse and a moisturizer. And I was like, skin fasting. So of course I had to start Google and reading and, and you know, to find out what this was and why my skin wasn't tight and dry and you know, reacting to the fact that I wasn't using my serums and my creams and my oils. So the idea behind skin fasting is that you stop all your products in order to give your skin a chance to normalize, to reset itself, to, um, you know, get its cellular turnover back to normal, to uh, heal itself and, and sort of become what it, because our skin, believe it or not, has the ability to take care of itself without our intervention. And I read a few, um, like blogger, well, a couple of doctors, uh, skin clinic, that are proponents of this, and so I wanted to let you know what they said about it uh, before I recommend that you try it, because I do, because I cannot believe how good my skin felt when I was doing this. So here we go. Um, so what these doctors feel is that by using too many moisturizers and serums and things like that, we interfere with the skin's ability to um, normalize and take care of itself. I went to a place, uh, to a website called the Mirai Clinical, and how they recommend that you do this is that one night per week, you uh, sleep, you cleanse your face with a, with a very gentle cleanser, and of course they have their own that they recommend, and then that's it, you go to bed. You do that once, maybe twice a week. Um, so you just basically are giving your skin a brief break from your, you know, your regular skincare routine. I went to another site. This doctor's name is Dr. Terry Long, and she recommends that twice a year you go through 21 days only using a cleanser, an antioxidant serum, and an SPF in the mornings, and then at night you sub out your antioxidant serum for a anti-aging serum. Now this is pretty much what I do anyway, um, at least what I was doing prior to this sensitivity bout, which by the way, it took uh, uh, a week of that, and I am now able to slowly start adding products back into my skincare, but, um, this particular doctor says that after you've done this for 21 days, then you bring you slowly reintroduce your products one day at a time. So um, that you know that obviously that's going to give you more of a shock to the system, I guess. And of course, both of these places recommend that you drink lots of water, you eat a healthy, nutritious diet, you get your vitamins, you, you, know, you move throughout the day, you get some exercise to get the blood circulating so that you do all the normal things that you would do to take care of yourself while you're going through this skin fast. Uh, and then the final place that I went to was Iuna, which is like the big thing in uh, uh, Green Beauty skincare right now. Um, and their philosophy, very much similar. And so their skincare line has basic two products. You have a soap and you have a cream that you use to moisturize with. And that is what they recommend that you use all the time. Uh, they have also introduced a couple of other products as well, uh, two masks. One is like a gommage, that's a, expo a gentle exfoliating mask. And then the other product is a detoxifying mask. But basically, day to day, it's just two products, soap and a cream. So I would love to know your thoughts on this idea of skin fasting, if you've ever done anything like this, uh, if you would be interested in trying something like this. I, um, I Currently, I have begun adding products back in. And so I can share with you what my skincare routine is right now. So obviously I'm still cleansing with the DaVita. I still use the SPF. Um, in the mornings I have added in this little 
gem, which is what I really wanted to talk to you about today. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Serum Gel. I took a general sample of this uh, with me when I went on vacation because my skin wasn't responding well to oils at all. And um, I had just decided to stop all the oils and just do basic, just Vita, because my skin was feeling very... Um, uh, sensitive it was it was starting to tingle and burn at different times of the day and and so cut out all the oils I was basically just using Devita skincare and it seemed like I needed moisture and I wanted a hyaluronic acid serum so this is the one that I picked and while I was on vacation my skin looked great I looked at that footage and I was like whoa who whose face is that because this does not look like me um, but yeah so I was using uh, this and then of course once I got back, this whole thing started, and I wasn't even able to use this. However, uh, as of three days ago, it's back in my life again. This has doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it, it's, and the, the, the powerhouse ingredients are 65% uh, hyaluronic acid, aloe, and something called sodium PCA. And these are all designed to really hydrate, deeply hydrate the skin. So uh, after I use that, the, the cleanser, the aloe, uh, the hyaluronic acid serum, and then um, I follow that up with the sunscreen. Why do I have such a hard time saying that word today? And then um, this morning, for the first time, after the hyaluronic acid serum, I brought in my Skin Diva uh, Hyaluronic Acid Argyrolene Matrixyl Peptide Serum. So this is where I'm going to stay for a while. Um, I have not gone back to my day cream. I really don't need it right now. So um, it's just going to be those four products during the day and we'll just see how that works for a while. And then at night, I was uh, using almond oil. If I wore makeup, almond oil, take it off, follow it up with the DaVita, and then uh, once I, the first thing that I added back in was my Hanua Aloha Serum mixed with one drop of the uh, Trilogy Light Rosehip Seed Oil. And um, this was great. This felt so nice on the skin. Uh, very, both of these are very lightweight products. Again, I didn't want anything heavy. And um, I have run out of the Hanua right now. So tonight, I'm going to sub in uh, another product that I wanted to tell you about from Garden of Wisdom. And this is it. I got this, this, I got this a, like a month or so ago, but I haven't been able to use it. So I hope I can use it tonight. I'm going to mix a, a little bit of what is called the Garden of Wisdom Progeline Serum in with the rosehip seed oil and this has um this has resveratrol it has super oxidate dismutase sod which is the if you follow the cindy crawford method that's what they that's their powerhouse ingredient and this also is fermented and it's very lightweight so i figure i'll just mix this with the um rosehip and see how that works if it doesn't work then I'll just throw on the hyaluronic acid serum and be done with it. But uh, yeah, that is my current skincare routine. And uh, so far, my skin's happy. Um, I'm no more burning. My body's happy. You know, the burning is much less. Uh, and so um, let me know your thoughts. Skin fasting. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. All right, everybody, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already because I would love to have you. And in the meantime, everyone, until I see you again, take good care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!